Good evening and welcome to the first round of qualifiers of LEGO Ninja Warrior Season 3. Yes, we are excited to kick this event off in Legoopolis. The crowd is finishing taking their seats. Let's hear what the course has in store for our competitors tonight. Competitors will start with a new version of the floating steps. Then they must use the arm rings to climb to the next obstacle. They'll slide down the Big Dipper and leap across to the Disc Runner, a slippery challenge that will require balance and agility. The Salmon Ladder returns as Obstacle 5, followed by the Beam Shimmy, where competitors must make their way across three beams. If they make it that far, the final obstacle is the difficult Warped Wall. Good luck, competitors! And here comes our first competitor of the night, Darth Maul, a fan favorite returning from previous seasons. Let's take a look at how he's done in the past. The first season, he struggled with his leg injuries at Legoopolis, and then in the second season, he went on to be runner-up in the finals, but he fell just short. And there he is finishing the arm rings. He's on the Big Dipper, sliding down. Oh, and he caught the water there. What a bummer. Sorry, Darth Maul. And behind Darth Maul, we have Donald Duck, who's at the disc runner. He is making his way across. It's a tough obstacle. He's onto the salmon ladder. He's up one rung, up two, and he's slipped. And he dropped his hat, but looks like he got it back on. He's okay, folks. And Andrea is finishing up the floating step. She's onto the arm rings, but she's lost her grip, and she is down. Here is another fan favorite, the Master Chief, returning from previous seasons. He is finishing the bar shimmy. In Season 1, he made it to the finals, but then he fell sliding down between obstacles. And in Season 2, he also put on a good showing, going all the way to the finals. But again, he fell on an upper body challenge. Let's see if he can do better this season. He is through the course, and he is our first finisher of the evening. Good job, Chief. Other returning competitors did not fare so well. Lloyd Garmadon lost on the disc runner, just couldn't keep his balance there. And Jack Sparrow made it all the way to the bar shimmy, but he couldn't keep his grasp on that bar. And Moana made it all the way to the warped wall, but she just could not get up it. And although she was angry, she walked it off like a champ. And newcomer Sonic the Hedgehog, self-proclaimed fastest thing alive, is taking on the course and he is moving fast. He's already down through the Big Dipper with a somersault to boot. He's at the disc runner and oh my goodness, he just spun himself right over those obstacles. The audience is taken aback by this approach and Sonic has finished our second finisher of the evening. Other newcomers who took on the course tonight, Aragorn, made it to the salmon ladder, but he fell out of the rungs, into the water, and his fans were disappointed. Hermione Granger made it to the arm rings, but she couldn't keep her grip, and she fell into the water. And B.A. Baracus showed us how a course is supposed to be done, and became our third finisher of the night. I pity the course that tries to stop me. That girl is at the arm rings. She is taking on the Big Dipper next, and she's over it, no problem. Her team watches on proudly, but she has slipped at the disc runner. That is okay. What a sport. And next we have Patrick Starr returning from Season 1. He is finishing the Salmon Ladder, and he is on to the Beam Shimmy. Will he have the endurance to finish this obstacle? And it looks like he doesn't. Captain America, debuting his new beard from Infinity War, is making his way through the floating steps. His team watches on happily. He's through the arm rings and taking on the Big Dipper. This is a tough obstacle. And oh, his form just wasn't great as he finished and his foot caught the water. Sorry, Cap. And right behind the cabin, we have Iron Man finishing the arm rings as well. Will he be able to get through the Big Dipper? And oh my goodness, he fell as well. Both Cap and Iron Man fell in the same challenge. Bummer. But looks like there won't be a civil war over this one. And here's Alex from Minecraft. She's been training with Steve, a longtime competitor of this competition. And tonight's course just wasn't a challenge for her. She made it through no problem and is our fourth finisher. Like last season, the Salmon Ladder is no challenge for the Green Arrow. But will he be able to get through the Beam Shimmy? Looks like he's running out of steam there. And two-thirds of the way through, he was down. Mr. Queen, how are you feeling? I have failed this city. Adorable newcomer Unikitty is through the Big Dipper and the disc runner's in front of her, but she is down. That's okay though, keep smiling. Powerpuff Girl Buttercup 
makes her way across the floating steps. Our last challenger gets ready for his run. And Buttercup is finishing the arm rings. Looks like that wasn't a problem. The Big Dipper, though, she became another victim of the Big Dipper tonight. Good effort, though. Our final competitor of the night is here. Batman, our season one champion. He's flying across the floating steps. Let's take a look at the final run of season one, where he went on to defeat Ray in the finals on Mount Lego, setting a record time and becoming the first Lego Ninja Warrior. He's at the disc runner. Looks like it's given him some challenges, but he is through. The audience is enthralled with this performance. He is making great time and doesn't look like he's running out of steam. He makes his way to the final obstacle, the warped wall. He's looking up, but he is through it. No problem. Our fifth and final finisher of the night. Well, what a show we had tonight. The competitors were incredible, and our five finishers will advance to the finals. The show will go next to Bricktown, where we'll see some more competitors there, so stay tuned. And if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends so that they can see it too. Thanks for watching.